my beautiful nesters. I hope you all are blessed and doing well. Welcome back to the garden. Today is the seed giveaway, 2,000 plus subscribers seed giveaway winners reveal. So today in this video, I'm going to reveal to you who won the seeds and I'm really excited about it. There's a lot of work that has to be done in the garden today, as you can see behind me. It's a mess. It is a mess, you guys. We had some storms come through here and they just wreaked havoc in the garden. And so I'm gonna show you guys, kind of give you like a little update video of what's growing on in the garden. It is a lot going on. Since there's so much work that I have to do and I have to trellis these cucumbers because they're ready to grow up the trellis, um, I'm gonna show you guys the boys' TP. We'll update you on that. And I'll show you some things that we have growing on in the garden. All right, so you guys may want to know how I trellis the cucumbers. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Do that. All right, you guys. So here I have um, my pickling cucumbers here. And as you can see, um, I had them there in rows, and this is the the result after the storm. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has little roots right here coming out because they were laying on the ground. So they'll start uh, laying roots down at these little joints. Um, but we want ours to climb up, so it'll take up less space in the garden. So I'm going to take my little garden staples here. And I have some twine and I'm just gonna loop the twine around twice just to give it some stability here are the cucumbers okay and then you have the arbors going up like that and this is the the line that I'm gonna have them climb in here and over there on that one okay so I'm gonna take this twine and I'm gonna loop it over across and then, and then it'll come down and we'll anchor it into the ground. So it's just pushed down, the staple goes down into the ground, um, and then I'll just take them all the way up, and then I'm going to go ahead and secure it to the, um, the twine. Alright guys, so I'm trellising them up now, and then I'm just taking the tendrils um, for all my veteran gardeners, that you all already know this, but for the new gardeners, you would take your tendrils and you can just, you know, gently just guide them up the, just wrap it around the rope or wrap it around your pole or your arbor or whatever. Oh, I broke this tendril. And it's okay. It's okay. I didn't hurt it. But be gentle with them because they can be fragile. Just going to place it in between these two strings. So I double the rope. I loop it twice going around the arbor so that I can create two, um, two lines and that way if I want to place one in between so that it can wind itself around um, I can do that. Here. Just wrap them around. 
And I'll come out here and do it every day, like as I walk past them. And I'll just keep guiding them and training them up. I really don't have to do it but wrap it just a couple of times and, and they'll figure it out. They'll they'll figure it out on their own. Okay. That's that. Another thing I use for trellising my plants in the garden is this tomato tape. This really stretchy tape that it won't scar or bruise or cut through your tomatoes or cucumbers. So I'll be using this as well. It's not a sticky tape, so if you were wondering, it's not sticky not that type of tape. Sometimes your tomatoes will kind of branch off and split into two plants, kind of like this one has done, and the storm took this one down, so it's laying down. This one doesn't have any blossoms on it or blooms on it at all so I'm going to actually cut it off and I'll just graft it and keep it growing so I'll root it from the put it in some water and it's cool it's, I mean it's not cool out here it's actually quite humid but it's not you know I'm not doing this in the heat so I wouldn't do this in the heat definitely do it on a cooler day um, but this is just this is going to stop the plant from kind of growing straight up it has this really extensive branch here that is split off into its own plant this plant here this one this one could be its own its own plant that's how big it is so um i'm going to put this in water and um it didn't harm it at all this Oh look, Wait, let's see if I can zoom in. Look, we have a little friend in the garden. Let's just take him out of the garden. All right, so fruit on the tomatoes, They're looking really good. So I'm gonna finish tying up all these tomatoes and cutting the limbs. And if I have any um, that need to be groomed, which it looks like I do need to get in here and do some pruning back um, that's what I'll be doing these Kentucky wonder beans definitely need a place to go they want to climb further up and so I believe I'm going to let them go across that way um, I think I'll let them go that way maybe like kind of like up and over so I was going to, this is um, an update of my uh, cut flower garden. Yeah, I still haven't finished that raised bed over there. I've been really busy, just really busy, haven't got to it. Wood chips aren't in here yet. That still isn't done. I was trying the whole cardboard and the aisles method and then putting the wood chips on top. I think I'm going to squash that idea. Only because I really don't like it I don't have time for all that cardboard and it's really messy and it brings in lots and lots and lots of bugs underneath it if you don't get to it in time it is just oh it's a mess down here let's see if you can see that I have I think that those are uh, yellow 
cayenne peppers, I believe. Fruit there. Man down. This is one of the tomatoes that um, needs to be trellised here. I hadn't gotten to all of my tomatoes on this trellis here. And the tomatoes that are growing over there, that are growing over there on that, in that middle section, I haven't trellised all of those. So I'll be doing all of that today and getting them trellised up. So they'll just be growing up. All right. And yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. I have a little small purple bell pepper growing under there. Really excited about that. And let's see what else we have growing on. We have some tomatoes coming. Um, brandy wines, beef steaks, ox hearts. This is a jubilee, a yellow jubilee. Um, these are some zinnias. The storm kind of got the, the storm causes them to kind of go um, crooked. If they get knocked down or knocked over and they're not trellised, then they'll start to get a bend, you know, a bend in their the shape of the. Um, their necks and they won't grow straight so you have to guide them back up maybe with a trellis to get them to go straight up and here we have another tomato plant that needs to um, be trellised up so I'll be doing that just clipping it here it's gotten really tall and it has it has fruit on it there and there so all of these, all of these need to be trellised uh, properly, like these that are going straight up. They look really, really good. I'll back up so you can get a better picture of what I'm doing here. So I have the trellis, the um, strings going all the way up, and they're being secured. They're secured in the ground with um, some. Uh, let me show you what they are. Hold on. All right, guys, I had to go run and get those um, with these for you so I can show you. There's some garden staples. That's what they are right there. Garden staples. Um, I'll just put them down so I can focus. Invest in a self-focusing camera. Okay, that's what this, these are. And... Uh, that's another uh, squash. I think that is a um, table queen squash growing right there. All right. And the Italian parsley that's over here um, in this herb box is ready to come out. I think it's gone as long as it possibly can go. You know, it was set in seeds for you all that have been watching. And... Um, some of the uh, insects are starting to eat the seed pods, so that's giving me a pretty good inclination that they're ready to go. And also, um, they are dying off and falling off when they dry up. So the bigger, fatter ones here, these will be the ones that I will take off. So I'll be removing this entire plant. I'll be removing this entire plant today. I don't really know if you can see how big it is, but it is massive. These are more cucumbers here. They'll be trellised. I'm going to get on to trellising those guys. The corn was leaning down and I stood it back up. So it was kind of laying down like this. And, oh gosh, with a lot of work, I stood it back up. So let's see if I can do it. So when it's leaning like this, I just kind of go right in front of it and just try to stand it back up. And I push it back down into the ground. I'll probably come back around and try to use some more soil to anchor it in. But I did that with pretty much all of them. They were all laying down after the storm. They were just leaning over. All right, so let me show you the zinnias that have bloomed for the season. First zinnias that have started to open. 
and I want to show you all this particular one right here this is a zinnia that I pinched out and I'm going to show you where I pinched it let's see I have to find it right there right there so it was pretty small when I pinched it out and as you can see it is put on so much growth beautiful color this one here it's gorgeous but they just keep the blooms just keep opening up the nasturtium is just beautiful I need to harvest some of that for my salad this nasturtium here it's doing really well and so I'm really really digging that color right there this is beautiful oh my gosh I'm saving the seeds from that and a beautiful white one and we still have some sugar snap peas still producing they're doing really good uh oh he fell over in the storm have to stand them back up them back up see if I can do it let's just put them right there through there get in there now okay wait a minute one more time there we go we have to put them back in there all right little peas oh let me show you guys around here remember this is the boys teepee trellis they planted it out okay so when we didn't come out here the days that it was really storming um since then the these are asparagus beans these are the um yard long beans look how long they are already so we i'm about to work on this as well because they're quite tangled and i my intentions were to have some of those staples in the ground strings going straight up for the, for the teepee and then they climb straight up on the string so that is what we're going to work on here so huge you guys I don't even think you understand how big it is it's massive shovel but I don't want to damage my mint that's in there even though I know it's tough as nails oh my gosh you guys can't get it out so I know you're like come on Sandria come on tell us who won the giveaway we want to know who won all right all right I know and you want to know if you won the giveaway well let me go ahead and tell you my winners here and I'm gonna put your comments up on the screen as well. So the first one we have for just the seeds um, themselves giveaway where I'm going to be um, sharing seeds. And I have a couple of extra little surprises in that package for you guys. So 
for all of you that didn't comment, oh well, because I will be sending them some extra little goodies in their bags. The more I started looking and thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this a special little box. So that's what we're gonna do. First one, this is Tiny Angry Crafts. Tiny Angry Crafts. Thank you so much for entering our C giveaway and congratulations. Um, Shy Thinker Videos. Shy Thinker Videos, congratulations. Thank you so much for entering our first giveaway. Juanita Sawyer Boatman. You're a winner. Congratulations and thank you for entering our giveaway. Honeysuckle Housewife. Thank you so much for the love and thank you so much for entering our giveaway. Can't wait to see the seeds growing in your garden. And Libby Agama, I believe. If I mispronounce anyone's name, I'm sorry. I'll apologize ahead of time. But Libby Agama. Thanks, Libby Agama. Thanks so much for entering our very first seed giveaway. Congratulations. Now, the person I'm going to announce now um, is the winner of the moringa seeds as well. So, in her package, she'll be receiving the moringa. And it will go to Christy H. Christy, your comment touched me so much, and also my sons and my husband. We read your comments and we chose you to receive the moringa. Since the moringa is such a powerful medicinal plant, it will be an exceptional, exceptional addition in your garden. <laughs> So it will be an exceptional addition in your garden. So my hope is that you utilize the moringa for your healing and for passing the love on for healing others as well. So I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for entering our very first seed giveaway. It has been so wonderful. I hope you enjoy your seed boxes. When you get them, feel free to share them on our social media. We are on Instagram and we are on Facebook. You can find us there more because we're on everything else too, like Pinterest as well. But I'm not a really good social media person. I've been really slacking, but I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna do better. But tag us with a Beautiful Nest TV seed giveaway and we'll see your photo and we wanna see the growth in your garden as well. So share your photos and your pictures. If you're a YouTuber and you do videos, feel free to open your seed gift or seed box on video and share the love, share the channel and share what you received um, for the giveaway. We would love, love, love to see it, all right? So let's get back to the work that we have to do today. I'm gonna to go ahead and trellis these um, asparagus beans and get this garden in order. There's work to be done here. Thank you guys so much for entering the giveaway again. I really love each and every one of you. Thank you so much you guys for 2,000 plus subscribers and growing. Thank you so much. Like this video if you like it and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video if you want to and we will see you guys. Oh my gosh guys, I gotta get that out of here. I need some space. Let me show you guys my Lufa, this one here. Can y'all see that? That's Lufa. Oh, you know what else we're pulling today? Let me show you. We're pulling this. This is the celery that's, that went to seed. We're gonna pull that today as well and, and go ahead and make space. So yeah, on our next video, hopefully I'll be doing a nice little garden update and garden tour, a little summer tour for you guys and we'll show you what we have run on. But for now, let me get it cleaned up a little bit and get it more presentable for you guys. It is an absolute disaster from that storm. We didn't lose anything, so that is a blessing. Maybe a couple of little new seedlings that came out of the ground. Um, but for the most part, and maybe some some new flowers that were um, coming out too. They, they just got buried by mud. Um, our garden is on a slope and we haven't fixed that yet. So all of the mud just washes right over everything. Wood chips get washed away, everything. It just gets destroyed when it's a really bad storm. So I have a lot of work to do. You all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching again. Thank you so much for subscribing and congratulations to all of our winners for our very first seed giveaway. Have a good one, guys. Bye.